What is going on friends, we are back with another showdown live and today we're going to be using stack attacker This is something I usually don't do uh, Using a team, that I got, a team that I got from the forums So this guy said he got the top 10 and he never got top 10 before And the set is kind of cool because um, You get trick room and You get an attack boost after you kill something and rockium does a lot To stuff like Celestila And the only problem I have with this team is we don't have hazard control Otherwise I like it a lot uh, Katana looking kinda cool in this matchup, so we do a little bit off with that. So now he should go... He doesn't have a good switch in, honestly. I kinda wanna smart strike because it hits the pins there and the, the Ladi that he might go to. But I think I can just play safe and in, in second sword in case he stays in. Yeah, see that's why I wanted to smart strike, but it's turn 1 and I didn't want to predict. So it's fine. Pins is a threat for sure if he has close combat. Or of quick, both are four times super effective. Yeah, he's gonna have one of the two. Never mind. For a second, I thought that thing that of quick is not four times effective, but this didn't work out as well. But now I can pivot into Malari on the of quick or close combat, and now he gets a defense drop. The thing is, quick attack probably kills the plus two. If he had of quick, that would have worked out better for me. The quick attack probably killed, so that didn't work. Hey, we eat that up. Wow, that's kind of cool. And we can kill him with a T bolt, and we we'll still have the sandstorm. Okay, that's nice. And I think I can save this as fodder and go to my Mola here. But yeah, wish path into AVT turn is amazing. That's something I would build myself for sure. And some around Clef is pretty cool for stuff like uh, Throw Thorn and. Excadrill as well. So what are we gonna do? I think we can just knock off here because we can knock off a thorough thorn if he goes to that exactly. And he's lefties. Um, nice to see that he's not Rocky Helmet because low ladder usually loves Rocky Helmet. Now we can go to Kartana here, get our region back up to full. And yeah, the team is gonna be in the description or a link to the RMT. So like, uh, the guy obviously will get the credit for it. But I'm kind of in a rush, so I don't have your side open, my guy. My bad, I forgot your name. But we can just go Tita here, and if he doesn't double, okay, he tricks us. A choice back. So we have a choice back ice beam now. But now we're just gonna pursue this boy. If he stays in, it still does a good amount of damage, so it's fine. But he switches. So Bob, goodbye. So he's gonna go to Gyarados here and threaten me. Okay, he goes to Tita. Is he Megata? Not 100% sure, but I think Hard Katana is always the play. In case he Dragnants, oh, if he's Megata, okay, he does not. So what we can do here is we can just defog because he's scared out. For some reason he stayed in, tried to sack his Tita. If I sack it sort of there, he would have been in a bad position, but whatever, my guy. And now we can... I mean, to be fair, he didn't have a good switch in. But he should know that I'm Scarf looking at the team. So I guess I would have gone the Gyarados if he's intimate if I was him to um, scout what I have. Uh, now we can go Allo or we can go Clef. I think Clef is overall better. And we just Moonblast to not let him set up for free. He's lefties. So he's probably um, sub DD. Which I haven't seen in a fat minute. But thankfully Moonblast is able to break his substitute. I kind of want him flamethrower break in his Excadrill, but it's not worth it, so I'll just spam Moonblast. Like, I have no reason to predict, I feel, because when he goes Drill, I just go into Alamomola. And if he has these, I can um, protect, then I can sack my Latios, and then the Sandstorm is gonna end, and then I can just revenge him with Scarf Katana, which is pretty much um, the play to make here. As I actually look like a complete god because now I outspeed him, but I can't touch him. But he doesn't know that I can't touch him. He forfeited. I mean, I was just playing the sectors and go to Scarf Katana afterwards. But yeah, we get the first win there. Let's get another one. Um, we're gonna keep this around 30 minutes ish, something like that. You're like, okay, what the fuck is this? Like, I'm low on the ladder, but I'm not that low. Why am I playing three? Why does this guy have three months? I'll just leave Katana and spam Leaf Blade. Or a second sword even? No, no, leaf blade. 
it should all go right. Like, I don't know, abs like, Absol is frail, but maybe it's not that frail. Yeah, it, it dies. Okay, so I should just win with this. <laughs> should have gotten more points. But, um, this is a new account I made where I'm undefeated on. I'm trying to get the undefeated streak going. I'm like 15 or something like that. Um, what should I call it? Oh yeah, I was trying to talk about a Switch. Do you guys have a Switch? Like, I was watching, like, uh, the new Mario game that... Um, if I pronounce that wrong, my bad. I'm German, so like I'm bad at pronouncing some things in English. But yeah, I love that game so much, and I don't have it yet. I'm thinking about getting it uh, for Christmas. But yeah, Sega Decker, you have great defense, my guy, but... Oh, actually, this is neutral, right? Yeah, he's gonna eat this up. But just to demonstrate, because this is kind of a stack attacker showcase, how bulky stack attacker is, I had to go for that. I actually am surprised that it did that much. But look at how much Jerbal did to me. But yeah, it's a plus one Kartana, you don't play around with that boy. Uh, a lot of the time, stack attacker runs minus defense. Um, this is the set that I'm also using, let me show you here. Because the reason you use this is so you get the attack boost. Um, I don't know why he's using this, you can do 15. You can run 15, because if both stats are the same, um, the stat that is... Like HP, attack, defense. Like attack is for defense. So the, the stat that is before, comes before, always gets the beast boost, even if they are the same. So like, uh, that's actually something worth it commenting on this guy's YouTube or commentating. Maybe I should do that. Maybe I will just grab another one. Let me see if I really have any other mistakes with the EV spreads. Um, okay, this guy is not gonna, not gonna deal. I thought Blana pronounces Nagana del way different, but... I don't know. He, he says like Na Naganadel or something like that. Sounds weird. But I think Alamomola is a fine... Actually, he might... I'm fearing the, the Zerkatry. Mm. I don't know if Kartana can over Zerkatry. That's the problem. But I'll just leave Lari. The thing is... Um, yeah, I'll just go Tita. Because, um, okay, he's Volt Switch, so he's probably Scarf Zirkle Tree, something like that, that a 12, nice Assault Vest in the cut. Yeah, I love AV Teacher for, um, Naganadel and for Bl Blacephalon or Blacephalon? I don't know how to pronounce that one. But it's amazing to have Wish Pass to keep AV Teacher healthy. That did laughable damage. Um, I think we can go for a knockoff here, breaking a switch. What if he goes for power punch though? I guess I'll just scald in case he stays and I get a chance to burn him. Yeah, knockoff would have been a better play. Because I would have guaranteed gotten rid of the leftovers. And now I'll just knock him off though. I'm faster. So I guess they're on money speed, that's why I'm faster, yeah. And not sure. I don't think he has Giga Drain, but it's a little ladder. I'll just wish you now. He shouldn't have Giga Drain. Yeah, okay, he can't touch me. So now we can. Um, we can go to Clefable here because um, even if he heavy slams, I just get the wish back to full. Um, that might look like a weird as bad play, but now I just go back to Elo. I mean, I'm kind of just PP stalling him. And I did knock him off, right? So now I just tacked here and then I'll try to burn him. Uh, yeah, this takes a while, but. I think that's my play to make. And that didn't work out, so I guess we'll wish out. Yeah, the reason why I switched up basically is to get rid of the leech cheat, but now I'm leech cheated again. And... Now I guess I can just go Lari and use this as setup for her. Uh, if I comment, I think my Lari just 6 0s him, right? I gotta be a bit careful about the Naga, but other than that... And fake out on low pony is annoying. Uh, I think I just start T bolting here because it should. Yeah, uh, okay. Unfortunately, we crit him. That's really annoying for him. So we can just recover here, break in the the protect from him. And even if he doesn't protect, it's completely fine. But yeah, we do get the we do get the play correct, and we can T bolt here, and it does kill. Unfortunate crit speeds up the process. <laughs> but yeah, Megalady putting in some work definitely cool. And he fake, if I got into return with the leech, it will be definitely annoying. So I'll just go to my Clefable here. And I can get up my rocks here. 
as he just returns but that's completely fine as we will softball here we will see if he has encore now but even if he has even if he has encore that's completely fine with me um i think he's gonna switch out here into maybe not gonna tell me but I, just having this at full is completely fine he goes to stack attack this new sprite looks really weird like they kind of made it like new sprites i don't know if you guys realize they changed the sprites from like a few days ago they have looked dif they look different but they still are not moving and they still don't look that great well i think this is fifth dev alamomola should be able to wall oh he gets, gets up bro it's nice and uh, this is a cool option on stack attack a nice utility i'll just wish here i think he's gonna zerk you exactly and i can just um go to my salt vest tyranitar uh, i could have scored trying to get a burn but just wishing my tita up uh, basically guaranteeing that i stay healthy uh, in my opinion was the play to make now we can go to Kartana or to uh, Lupani and yeah we just go to Clefable here we have Magic Guard we don't take rocks he HJK's I think I just Moonblast off yeah I just Moonblast here um I, th I think we just kill him mm -hmm, nice I said that before he died. <laughs> nice future view. I mean, that was obvious. So he goes Naga and Adele. And do I need this Clef or anything? I don't need this Clef, so... But I also don't lose much from going hard on the Tita. So let's just do that. So we just go Tita here. We Assault Vest. So he's... We can... We take around 60% from a plus 2Z Draco. So this is gonna do around 60. Um, I predicted that. 55Z. That, that was a munch. I love, I love AV Tita for this reason. And even if he had a clown like the the blaze for launching, I could still wish my Tita back up because the clown couldn't even kill me. I think I'm at 21 after rocks. Pretty sure the clown still couldn't be wouldn't be able to kill me. And this is a threat for sure. Um, I just ice beam here because I don't need my Tita. And I think he's choice scarf. So what I'm gonna do is uh, go to my laddie here and. This is a bit threatening if he's not Scarf, but Tebow should tweet KO him. And yeah, he goes to Staka Taka Taka. You can just go Alamomola here, get a wish up. And I don't see what he can do about to like prevent me from doing that. That was a good play on his part, but doesn't matter because now I can wish. And if he goes into his Zerka Tree, I just wish into my. Um, yeah, basically, I just wish my. Oh, never mind. I can't go Lari now. I think he's gonna toxic you predicting Maladi. So what I'm gonna do is just scald here. And then I'm gonna wish again. So unfortunately we don't burn him. Sucks a bit. Um Huh. Yeah, like if I can wish Maladi up, I think Ladi just wins this game. Besides the toxic, obviously. Um so I wish him to my Kartana here, because he can't touch my Kartana. Yeah, it's uh, I should have done that last turn. Mm -mm -mm. I have not used this team before, but it seems like it's not that hard to like get used to it. And yeah, we just second sword here, and something is gonna die uh, because circuitry gets two hit KO'd, and everything else gets O code. I'm pretty sure. Maybe Katana can live a second sword from his from other Katana, but if he switches Katana, it's still a speed tie. So circuitry is gonna get two hit KO'd, right? Um, because I'm s I'm faster even if he's scarf, yeah. Wait, he, I think he was Scarf Zergage because he had Volswitch, so maybe Katana is not Scarf? So yeah, the way he played it, it's, it's Scarf. So if I lose the speed tie here, is that a problem for me? I mean, Katana is nice, but I don't think it matters. Yeah, I don't think it matters, even if I lose the tie. It's, of course I lose the tie, but I've been able to eat that up, okay, so... Should have cut it, but I feel like even if I lost my Katana, I would have been fine. So yeah, GG, my man. Yeah, we will get another one for sure. Uh, this one took a bit longer, but it happens when you use like wish pass balance type of ladder team. And okay, this guy is a cool team with a uh, mammoth swine, which is ice shot. Nice check for Na Nagana Del thingy. Oh, probably Z move Como, uh, which can be a threat. It's, like usually, what you would do with Como is you would go into Clefable to block it from to block it from so that it doesn't get the clang clangorous soul blaze or whatever the move is called. Yeah, you want to block him and go into your fairy type right on the turn where he goes for that so he doesn't get the boost but what if he goes for flash camp break in that that's an option for him i think kartana is a good lead with him or mola now kartana seems fine 
Uh, he does leave a Mammoth Swine, we can just Leaf Blade. He has no good resist. Um, Glendris is gonna take like 30 maybe. Yeah, 29. So he's Rocky Helmet, but I'm completely fine with that. Um, since he's not leftovers, he's gonna get chipped down. And so this is defensive land, right? What, what can I do? I can either go Clef, Elo, or Laddie here. I think my Laddie wins this game if I play it smart. But I think I'll just go Clef here and pretty much exchange hazards. Uh, Alamo, not Alamola, Magirna is a threat in this game. How do I beat Magirna? He just stays in, so that's fine. Hmm. I'm like trying to think what I go to if he goes gear because M Magirna is such a big threat. What the fuck? Because I can't go hard into my. Cut no, what, what did I go to? I guess Tar can, like. I hope he's a salt vest. L looking at his team, he should be a salt vest. Because he's way too weak to opposing gear. He's also kind of weak to Grin Ash Grin if it has Gunk Shot. We c and some people run that now. Because it's like a new toy syndrome. So I hope he's just Assault Vest. But if he's not Assault Vest, I have a problem. So he's either going to Flurl or Flash Can here. And I don't know what to go to. I go Allo, but I'm 5th death. So if he comments here, I think I just lose. Uh, so, but he's, I think he's Assault Vest. Uh, so he's going to Volt or Flurl Can here. Hmm. I mean, I guess I go Tita breaking a Volt Switch, but damn, like, thankfully he's not Calm Mind. <laughs> if he was Calm Mind, I think I just had to X out. Am I missing something? How could I beat Calm Mind Magira? I could beat it with, I could Calm Mind with my own Lari and beat it with Star Power if it's only Ice Beam, because Ice Beam doesn't do that. Yeah, that's what I've been my counter, yeah. Damn. When Lari is your gear counter. But yeah, what we can do as Mammoth just go Allo and. What does he go for? Just Earthquake? That does a lot because he's Life Orb. So I'll just wish up. Hopefully we don't get crit. And he goes into his gear. And yeah, now just go T-Tar here. And this is why Wish Pants is amazing. Because we stay healthy even though there's rocks and everything. Yeah, that's like the one thing I don't like about this team. No Heather Control. I think I already said that. But yeah, Como um, has close combat. So maybe I shouldn't stay in. I go Clef here. Uh, that's what I talked about at Team Preview. You can predict that and go for Flash Can. But since he's not Specs, that doesn't do much. As long as he doesn't drop me, I'm completely fine. And what, do you ca what we can do here is we can go Alamomola and knock off his leftovers on his Tapu Fini. Um, now he's gonna taunt me most likely and we can knock off on a taunt. We Defox. Oh, thanks for Defox. Nice. Um, so he's either gonna Nature's Madness or Taunt. So we can go Katana here. We don't necessarily need the Katana at full. I also could have wished if I knew he would go for that, but I thought he would go for Taunt. That just covered all options. And now he might go Landris, right? So I think I just go Clefable here, breathing the Landris. And just get the rocks back up. Yeah. Pretty basic, pretty obvious place. So he goes into the Clown, and we just go Tita here. If he has Willowis, that's a bit annoying, but it's kind of fine. Like, I don't care too much. Because even if he has will o -Wisp, he goes for Mind Blown, the 50 to himself and nothing to me. Even if he had will o -Wisp, I still pursued him for like a lot of damage. So yeah, say goodbye to your clown. Oh, knockoff, that's a cool set, my guy. But yeah, your clown is gonna die. And my Tita can still get wished up. And I don't really, the only reason I would need AV is for the Megirna. And I guess for the Fini, but I can't really touch the Fini. So he goes, come on, I'll just keep going Call Fable because I don't wanna have him go I don't wanna have him go for the for the Z move and get the boost, right? So now I can expect him to go into gear here. And I can go into Lari. And I can just calm mind and I think No 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 I should switch out on the potential slur can So like basically the reason why I went Lari is because in my mind I was like oh I lose to calm mind Magina but he's already confirmed the salt vest. So now we have to play this different. I think we go stack attacker here break in the flur can yeah. So we now we can trick room right and maybe stack attacker. His Landris is still too healthy, but maybe stack attacker can get a mini sweep here. So I think he's immune to Jarable because of bulletproof. Uh, that sucks. Yeah, okay, I, I cannot stay in because he's immune. So I forgot that for a second. So I have to switch. And he goes Landris. And I'll just Moonblast. I'm fast as in Shadows to Trick Room. So at least Trick Room putting in some work, I guess. No, that didn't really matter that I was faster. Um, so we'll just Moonblast, he sexes Landris. We have one more turn. 
Yeah, double priest in the gear, but then I risked. Like early on Dilati, but then I risked. Oh boy, that doesn't even help me that much. Mm, the thing is, if I go stack attack at a trick room ends next turn, I think I go Allo, but even though I kind of need this healthy for Mammoth Swine. Mm, 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 mm. So now we just protect uh, because he's gonna Volt Switch, and since I'm Fist Dev, this is gonna hurt, so I need all my health that I can get. Okay, that actually didn't do as much as I thought it would do. And he goes Como, we just go back to Clef because we don't want him to get the boost. As he tries to go for the boost, but we obviously don't allow that. The animation looks really sick though, not gonna lie, but yeah, it doesn't affect me. If you would still get the boost even if they go into a fairy, I would actually use Como. Um, um if you have, if you guys have a good team with Como, pass it to me please, because I like that more. We're gonna flamethrower now. As he crits us, I should have moonblasted. That was completely my fault. I tried to break this Magirna. I had no reason to make that play, but oh well. There's a threat now. Uh, I think I'll sack my Clefable though. Hmm. Just in case he tried to predict my switch. So now we just go to this and Smart Strike. I think Smart Strike might actually win. Now his Megina is still too healthy. Now a plus one I might actually kill. So let's open the calculator. So we do kill the Como with the Smart Strike. Um, I'm a really big fan of Kartana. This is actually not a knockoff though. I'm pretty sure I shot doesn't kill me exactly and now we just win with Kartana amazing um, I still I'm still waiting for a game where, um, where stack attacker wins though Beginner should die yeah plus two it dies he should have gone to it before I had all the boosts and GG my man and we're gonna get another one um, let's go let's go As I was watching my so yeah whatchamacallit this guy's gone radio yeah I was watching my other upload um, mm, 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 okay, what should I call it? So basically, um, we have some more Snake Draft games. Um, me and my man Ultra Bolts are gonna bring him to you guys. Um, he's gonna do the other final games because I don't know lower tiers and I already did all the OU ones. And I'm gonna do some from earlier rounds, but we still have to do Smog Twist. I'm gonna do Smog Twist, Smog Twist first. And the next days, I'm, I'm, I'm better now. I'm like, I'm still a little bit sick, but I'm better now. So yeah, you guys can tell probably from my voice. So it's lead drill, right? So I think I just leave with Kartana. He leaves Gyarados. It's a bit annoying because, uh, hmm. I'm gonna just leave Blade 2 at minus one. Does it to it KO him? Gyarados. Um, so I am minus one. Intimidate. And uh, Leaf Blade still has a good chance to to it KO, so I'll just go for that. And I assume he's gonna switch into Victini or Kartana now. But I, th what's, I think I can go to Tyranitar. Yeah, I can go to Tyranitar because that covers his Victini. And I'm a Salt Vest, so like I don't really care that he's... Um, so I really want to pursue it here, but just in case he stays in, I'm going to Stone Edge. Exactly. Hopefully I do connect. I pray that I do connect this. As unfortunately we miss. Um, I feel like I played that well. But we do have a Lottie, so let's not trip too hard. Because Mega Lottie should be able to wall. We do get a dodge. That is some justice. Uh, we can calm it up. The only... Yeah, I think the only thing that is stopping me from sweeping is Mimikyu's Disguise. Uh, for a second I was about to say Gyarados vaults me because I'm stored power and he's dark type if he magus, but I also have T-Bolt. So that is actually nice. As it does nothing. And of course he burns me. So this guy is really fucking lucky. This is super annoying. But yeah, I'm just gonna start power here. Just in case he goes to something. Like I say he goes to Mimikyu and I, so at least I get something out of the turn. He stays in which is an awful play. Because I could have just recovered. Um, I'm gonna recover now. Uh, okay, I guess. Okay, I get it. He stays in because he's set up already. But like, I don't like how he's playing this. Um, so I'm just gonna spam Star Power though. Just because I don't want to give him a free switch into anything. The reason why I'm Star Powering over T Bolting is because his Excadrill might come out. But yeah, that's okay. He's just. I mean, it doesn't matter. If I set up again, it doesn't matter to be fair because he still has Nimikyu's Disguise intact. So I should just uh, spam recover to keep this healthy, right? Um, I guess I can start power. 
I kind of actually have enough PP. I don't have to. I don't have to like save my PP. Yeah. So that the, the burn is what annoys me the most. The Stone Age miss also was really annoying. I know he would have lived it, but I would have done a lot. But yeah, since I had Lottie to wall him, I guess it's not the end of the world. Um, so let's just start power again and then recover again. Mm, the thing is, oh, let me think this through that I don't fuck up this game. Easily drill with toxic rocks, earthquake, spin. Mimikyu is not a threat as long as, like my Alamomola is gonna be able to eat Mimikyu in some fist death. Also stack attacker is gonna be able to put in work. Yeah, I think stack attacker can actually sweep this. If I get up a trick room and some chip damage on Kartana, and I if I have to break drill sash, get some chip on this and break the disguise. And I think stack attacker wins then. Stack attacker, stack attacker. <laughs> There, we just kill him with the next door power. I obviously could have commanded up more and kept this at a as healthy amount as possible, but we're still somewhat healthy. And yeah, this is fine. He can now go to Tapu Lele, I guess. If he specs Lele, right? Or he can go to Mimikyu. Mm, he goes to Drill, which is not the play in my opinion. I don't know why he did that. Um, what? So I'm pretty sure he doesn't beat me. And I just have to break his sash. And like I said, chip the Kartana and then I win with Staka Taka Taka. Right? Because Earthquake doesn't do much, you guys can see. Uh, if he wouldn't have burnt me, I would have easily set up on this. Now I kinda have to risk getting crit, I guess. But I, I can just calm mind and not sure what the fuck he's doing. He's playing this really bad, but that's happened when you're not that, that happens when you're not that high on a ladder. Um, I can obviously still lose to um, overconfidence. So then now he goes Mimikyu, which is what he should have done earlier. Um, I think... Mm. Nah, Stagga Dagga doesn't win. If his, if his Katana was a little bit lower, I would just break his disguise, then switch out and then sweep him with Taka Taka Taka. But since um, Katana is too healthy, I can't do that. So I'll just go to Alamomola. He has deed, okay. Maybe I should have stayed in the break his disguise. What is this life orb, right? So I just knock off. We eat that player off. And... <clears throat> I guess I just wish. Yeah, it's called. Try to burn him. Unfortunately, yeah, we get the burner. That was really lucky on my end, but... Whatever, he also burnt me with... With, uh, with his thing. But to be fair, the burn on my lady didn't matter as much. But it was still annoying. But yeah, we can wish go wish into stack it. Now we can just go hard into stack attack. Now wish is fine, honestly. You just wish. Mm. Man, I'm still waiting for the game where that one like gets a full sweep. Like I said, if his katana was just a bit lower, I think we just win with this mod. Would win with this mod. We can still. No, I don't want to set up a trick room. Wait, if I get a, if I get an attack boost, how much does stack attack I do the Kartana? Because if I Oko him, I would do that. I would actually set up. So let's say max attack, right? Um, we have 397 attack. And I thought I'm just gonna say adamant, even though I'm not adamant. And let's say plus one. And let's say earthquake. Not earth power, earthquake. So that would do 55, so Kartana still eats, but he just forfeited. I mean, <laughs> Stack Attack I pretty much won that game after a chipped card. I said it four times now, I think. So I guess in my book that's kind of a sign that it put in some work, even though it didn't. And in this game, I think uh, Clefable is a good lead. Timer is also a good option because people like to take forever on the ladder. I mean, I kind of want to end it after this game, but Stack Attack I didn't put in that much work yet, so I'm kind of sad about that. Uh, this guy's a shitty win loss, so we should win this as well. So he just wars me. Um, probably Sash Billum, right? Uh, Rock. What the fuck was that for? What did Rock Tomb even hit on my team? As I get a first turn wake, deserved. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I don't necessarily need Kill Fable awake, so it doesn't matter if he puts me to bed. Maybe I'm lucky and get a first turn awake again. So he's Rock Tomb Bullet Seat Mark Punch, I assume. That, what the fuck is this guy's team? 
I mean, he's probably gonna get five hits here, and I'm not gonna wake up. Four hits, and I wake up. Okay, never mind. Usually, I'm not lucky. Usually, I always get like more sleep turns. Um, but how does Stack Attacker win this game? Um, the problem is, Bennett has pranks that will always with his Mega, so he can stop my Stack Attacker sweep. And other than that, I think Stack Attacker can sweep this, yeah. If I get Trick Room up, Earthquake, Dampoleon. And then plus one Rockium is gonna destroy the Gliscor or the Umbreon. That's kinda cool. Don't have a good switch in the Coco and I... S uh, I don't wanna go Gladi because if he has Dazzling Gleam that's bad. So I think I'll just sack my Clefable. He has Specs, Volt Switch, okay. Most likely Specs. Could also be Zeplate, but Specs is more common and stuff like that. Um, so... They reconnect. Yeah, I hate it when people do that, like, they disconnect, they come back, blah, 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 blah. But yeah, this team is putting in the work, so, like, props to you, my guy, whoever you made it. <laughs> like I said, the RMT is gonna be in the description. Um, I plan on starting streaming um, when I'm not sick anymore, and when I'm caught up on tournament games. So not now, but in, like, a month, I plan on starting streaming. I said that a few times already, but it's kind of, like... Like this time I'm really gonna stream, like I'm gonna like try to like at least stream twice a week. The problem earlier was my internet, I figured out how to do it. Like I kinda had to lower the quality of the of the stream. It's not a super HD upload thingy, but it's still a fine quality I feel like. As we're just gonna leaf blade, um, just in case he wants to go on a glitch score on a smart, on a leaf blade. On a second thought, why can I not talk? And he has no leaf blade resist, so pretty much gets a kill. Thankfully he didn't burn us. You could see last game that I'm lucky and got the burn with the skull. I mean, he also got a burn, but yeah, we already talked about that his burn doesn't didn't matter too much. Uh, so we do get a boost. Um, unfortunately, this was meant to be stack attacker showcase, but Katana's putting in all the work. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Coco just dies, so I don't know what this guy's doing. So Katana's just gonna 6 0 him. I know some people like um, lies that are around this length. I've, I've got I've gotten like two or three comments from people that are like like thirty minute videos, but I have to get another game after this because if he with me, I probably don't sweep with this. Or if he Destiny wants me, but that's fine. Like I have to get another game. I just have to like use Stack Attack Z move, put in some work. I mean, he lost his prankster, so now he still loses to Cartana. Like Ambrian probably till. I'm gonna go so I can take it. Okay, he doesn't hard lose to it, but he, this gets another kill, that's what I'm trying to say. Most likely gets a kill. Maybe Umbreon is able to switch into it now that, I, that I'm at neutral. But if he sacks this, um, Umbreon is gonna take a lot of mid plus one, and so is Gliscor. My voice is even. Wait, he still has pranks there. What am I saying? For some reason, I thought he lost his pranks there. My bad, my bad, my bad. <laughs> I don't know why I thought he lost his pranks there. But yeah, I want to end this with Stack Attacker. Um, I know it can live an Earthquake from Gliscor. So what we're going to do is we're going to Trick Room, right? And we're going to see um, Rockium. And if he's offensive Gliscor, it can potentially Oko him. Wait, he goes for rocks. Big mistake. Big mistake, my guy. Stack Attacker is going to win. Watch this, guys. Watch this. Okay, I've, I'm glad that I didn't waste my Z-move. Um... Actually, we're just gonna use our Z-move, it's fine. Because oh, I don't, I just wanna see if it can Oko. So we go for Connell Crush. And it did nothing, what the fuck? That shit did nothing, so he's max defense or something? Okay, that was really... Like... Um, what's the word for it? Disappointing, that that was bullshit. Um, I wanna run Kalk though, because I'm pretty sure... Um, that he was Fizz Death Glyph score. And that's a low ladder set. Usually you don't see um, this Death Glyph score. So let's say this is the normal set. Like they run max H 244 HP and the Death. It's the norm. This set is more common. Um, so plus Z Stone Edge would have done how much to this set? Not a plus one at neutral. Damn, I was overestimating my boy. I thought I could go to town and get a kill with the uh, Stone Edge. So Z Stone Edge and neutral would have done. Uh, they would have done 76 to 89, which is a lot, but unfortunately this guy had to run defensive glyph score. But you can see that Jarabal still did a respectable amount. Mm. 
So I guess I go Tita and Ice Beam here. I should have mm, kept Stack Attacker for the Umbreon, because the Umbreon would definitely lose when we want to Stack Attacker. But I don't think he has Roost because he has Protect Earthquake and Rock, so his last move is either Toxic or Knockoff or something like that. Maybe Substitute? No, he doesn't have. No, no, Sub is not a. No, he's not Sub if he doesn't have Toxic. Um, but yeah, now we go Umbreon and we just knock off, but this is gonna take a while now. <laughs> nah, when you think you can put in the work with Stack Attacker, but instead he just does nothing. Damn, that sucks. Unfort! So we're gonna upload this though, because like, yeah, like why not? The thing is, now you can just go Gliscor and be really annoying. Yeah, this, this might be a L. Um... I don't know why he's taking so long. I have, this is really super annoying. Like I have to agree with Blonde that people take too long on the ladder. Even I, I run cock sometimes. You guys see it, but I click kind of fast. Other than that, um, I guess I'll have to try and burn him. But he has heal bill most likely, so he can get rid of the burn anyway. Would have been nice to burn him before. Would have been nice to burn him before. Um, I'm just gonna go hard Lardy here because my toxic is racking up and I don't want that. Would've been nice to burn him before I was toxic. Because then I could stay in for a longer time. Oh my god, I got flexed. That was embarrassing. I got flexed into the dirt. Good play, my guy. So I, this is gonna take forever. Um, I think I'll do another live with Stack Attacker because this is like gonna take a few minutes and... I don't want to make the video too long, so this, the video is already going to be like 40-ish minutes. Then this is a nasty stall war. How healthy is this Gliscor? I mean, since this Gliscor is Fizz Dev, I don't think it can switch in well on a skull, so I can skull again just in case he tries to pass. I mean, it probably still wouldn't kill because Alamula has trash weak. Yeah, I think this might. Oh, yeah, at least he doesn't have heal bell. Wait. Okay, for a second I thought I had Toxic, and I was like, why did I try to burn him when I had Toxic? But I didn't have Toxic, never mind. At least he has enough healer, so pretty much I have to stall out his wishes, and then eventually he's gonna die. Um, I'm, sh I should probably pause it, because this is not fun to watch for you guys. I go Tita, because then we get more chip damage with the sand. Yeah, let's say I'm gonna keep recording two or three more minutes, and if I haven't beaten him by then, I'm gonna pause it and show you guys the end of the game. <laughs> And I'm not sure if I probably use a different team, even though I like this team a lot. But unfortunately, Stack Attack, I just didn't put in the work. Uh, yeah, I just Stone Edge here. The thing is, Glisco is gonna be, would be able to eat that. But I don't want to Ice Beam and have him stay in. Yeah, exactly. As uh, so we can thankfully connect the edge. So I forgot they had a wish in the air. I thought I could tweet KO. Yeah, this is gonna take a fat minute, good lord. Yeah, I'm gonna pause it, guys. Be right back. In like, I don't know, 20 turns? How many turns? It's gonna take a fat minute for me, but you don't have to watch that. <laughs> yeah, I'm pausing it. So yeah, we are here finally. My guy timed out now. I would've still taken a while, but yeah, thankfully we finished this. So I guess I'll get one more. Um, Like, I didn't want to do it, but I just... Stack it like a please, you gotta put in more work. <laughs> I can know how aim does it, he like um, cuts out some of the games where the mods don't put in that much work. But yeah, I don't have that much time to record at the moment. So we leave with... Hmm, Coco seems like a big threat to this team. Hmm. I guess I'll leave with Stack Attack at the Goat. Trying to force him to put in work, now he knows my set. But I know my own set so I know that my Alamomola walls it. I guess he just labeled Ditto to scout my set. And what we can do here is... Um, hmm. I guess we can knock off if he goes Chansey, it would be cool. No, no, matter what, no matter what he goes to, getting rid of Coco's specs would be amazing. And um, if we find out that he Z move Coco, that is not good for me if he Z Dazzling Gleam. Um, that his team is weak to Z Dazzling Gleam Coco, huh? Like, I don't know what to do here. Honestly, I guess I'll go Lari, but if he comments, what am I gonna do? Oh, I think he just... Oh, thankfully he's Gigavolt Havoc, and that did so much. So now we're gonna scout for Dazzling Gleam, right? Um, 
How much does Katana but do with Leaf Blade again? Because I can go hard Katana here if I can kill him. Damn, if he was Gleam, I just lost my life there. Yeah. Hikoko is a big threat to this team, good lord. It's a, it's a roll in his favor. Actually, it's not a roll he always lives. I guess I go stack Ataka on the on a Dazzle or on the u -turn. okay. I could have lived that, I think, if I Megar. Maybe that was the Wild Charger. Okay, I guess he's physical then. Okay, that's fine. Um, if she goes Coco, that's fine because I still have my Clefable at full and he would waste his seed, but he just goes Ditto. Um, I go Kartana this time. Um, I don't like that he quaked, but it worked. Like, I could have just gone Aloe. I was fearing his double out, that's why I went Katana, because it's like a more offensive play. And I think Leaf Blade is the play. He should not stay in here. Yeah, exactly. I don't know why that was the switch in. What if I sec. That this guy is bad. What? Why was that the play? I mean, please give me a chance. Honest crit? Ah, which chance? Are you so he's gonna protect here or he's gonna have to switch? So we. Hmm. I hope he doesn't have Toxic and that means I could heal my Lottie. That would be nice because having Lottie healthy, uh, if he has Toxic, this is bad. But if my Lottie is healthy and this Coco is not... If this Coco is not... Uh, okay, I think he doesn't have Toxic, I don't know. If his Coco is not... Fairy move, my Lottie walls it, which is nice. Uh, so we can get a Rock Sub here because I gotta put some pressure on his boy. He has no hazard removal, his only hazard removal is... Ditto copying one of my mods and then potentially defaulting, copying my Kartana, right? And... Hmm. I feel like stack attack has the play here. I don't really lose much and pass into Ditto, okay. So I'll just play it safe, go to Allo. This, this guy's not really making aggressive plays so I can afford to play save. And now we can just wish... Wait, did I... Uh, what did I knock earlier? I knocked this Coco and he was removed, right? And he goes Jancy. Okay, why? Let me knock this. Let me knock this boy. I should have hard knocked, but I thought this guy would like learn from it. And like, if you see that Alamola is knock off, you obviously you don't go to Chansey. But this guy is like, oh no, boy, let me go to my Chansey real quick. I like losing. <laughs> Winning is overrated. But yeah, we can wish into Lari here. I don't think he has... I don't think he has a fairy move. Uh, maybe I'm wrong, but yeah, he's physical, so I figured that correct. And now we can calm mind. And how does he beat this? How does he beat this? Somebody tell me. Um, I guess Nagana Dal can revenge it, but he can't switch in. Um, now we just recover here because Ditto doesn't beat me. Mm. And Chansey loses to stored power because he, especially because he doesn't have toxic. Uh, no, chance he loses to this. Let me call mine up, my boy. My guy, not like this. <laughs> and if he copies this with his la, uh, with his ditto, like let's say he, um, let's say he copies this with ditto, I can still go to my AVT tower, right? So I'll start power. This will do like a lot. This will do like half because I knocked off his violet. Like, watch, this is gonna hurt him. Ooh, never mind. I have to do way more. Uh, yeah, he has no switch, and let's just start power here. I mean, I could have recovered, but I don't really see the point. I guess I should have. Yeah, I should have recovered, I guess. Mm -hmm. So now he goes Lottie, right? But... What is he gonna do? Because I just go Tita here and he's Choice Guard, right? But Ditto most likely. And we just pursued him. Because he's locked in into... Unless he's not Scarf. Like, I'm not sure if that would have killed me, but I feel like this was the play to make. Now his Ditto is gone, exactly. And we're in a great position, but again, Stack Attacker still didn't do much work. Uh, the other reason why I have to stop recording after this is because my file is getting super big and my net is trash. He's probably gonna U turn here, it's wise to keep this healthy, so I'll go into my clef. Um, because I need my Tita healthy, obviously, for Naga, right? So I should play smart. If he goes Naga, I just go Tita here. And even if he goes for nasty plot, we guys have oh he already used the Z move, so he's not even Z. So this is completely fine. Um, I'm a big fan of Specs Naga, by the way. I want to try that set out. Specs with um, U-turn, Draco, Fire Blast, and Sludge Wave. Um, my man Ultra Balls made a team with it, but 
Um, I struggle I struggle building building with it. It's cool with Medicham because you you turn on the T-Tar. If they don't have a Mew, you pretty much get a kill with Medicham. Uh, signal beam. I didn't even know learns that he's life orb, okay. Um hmm. Oop. I just quake here. Okay, now I look like a complete idiot. But I didn't wanna like have him lift the pursuit. I should have pursued it again, that was a misplay. But now we go... We need Clefable Healthy for Halucha. So going Kartana and Leaf Blading means um, we weaken his Gyarados. And I think Stack Attacker, unless he's Earthquake, should be able to live a hit. Um, but the thing is... Oh, he these these again. Hmm. Wait, was he Moxie or Intimidate? Oh shit, he's Moxie. Yeah, I'm not giving him the plus three. I'm going hard into Alamomol. What if he Z moves here, though? Yeah, like, I don't need this Kartana to win. I'm not. I'm not gonna have him Z move my Alo and just die him one. I'm gonna stay in. No, that DD uh, waterfall Z bounce. What is the last move? No, no, he already used the Z move. What am I saying? I think I can go Alamomol. Yeah, he already used the Z move with Coco. Okay, I'm really. I guess this is Mega then. Yeah, so staying in is definitely the play that never mind, yeah. Yeah, okay, this is Mega, but Alamomola lives any hit. Um, wait, mm. I mean, if he's not quick, Stack Attacker can live a hit, but I don't want to have Stack Attacker just die. I think my best play is just going to Aranita and then going into Alamomola. And even if he crunches, I can eat that up, I'm pretty sure. And he dies to Sand, so if he had rest, he would have been asleep for two turns, so I think I could have still been able to check him. I would have been able to go Clef, then it won't last him. If he rested, so that was completely fine. Unless he was rest talk and pulled the exact move he needed, but no, 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 there was no way he had all the moves that he needs. Um, so he can just. W I can go with stack attacker since he's physical, I wall him. So he taunts and. Mm, I'll just jar a ball here, right? I could have gone for Z move, but. Yeah, I'll just gonna take a lot from this. Like, I don't care about your defense boost. You're gonna get blown. Ooh, that killed! See, like, I don't care that Stack Attack I didn't do much work this entire life so yet so far. This was, this is what, this is what you guys were waiting for, right? Stack Attack are getting all those kills, eating up Bob, and he might be able to kill me, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know. He's life up, so he can probably kill me with Fire Blast. Mm. Let's click the Z move if we if we live. It would be cool to end it off with a sweep. Ah, end it off with a stack attacker sweep. I read that. Um, thank you guys for watching. Um, some of you might be mad that I'm gonna put this in a thumbnail because it didn't do too much work. But you can definitely see its potential. Um, but there's like some games where you don't want to. Let me let me show you guys my record. I'm 19 and oh, oof, it's that night show. I know that's nothing crazy. We're still on the low ladder, but that's a kind of cool record. Um, yeah, like the fight is getting too big. The upload time is gonna take forever otherwise, and I know people don't have. Like don't want to watch like an hour long live or something like that. Mm -hmm. So my man team might do a guest live later. My voice is super dead right now. I don't think I'm gonna record another video. Uh, team is gonna be in the description. Shouts to the guy who made it and yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, if you guys have like other stack attacker teams, uh, please pass them to me. Um, if you tested them, especially if they worked out for you on higher ladder, that would be cool. Also, Specs, Knack, and Adele teams, if you have those, please pass. That's all amazing core. Uh, like, amazing. What am I saying, core? Like, Specs, Knack, and Adele is amazing because you lure in Tita and you turn on them and then go to Medicham, right? Um, there's other options. I also like Bla the Clown plus Medicham because you can just double on the Tita, kind of pressure them like that. I think I already talked about it in another video. But yeah, my voice is coming to an end. Uh, smash the like button if you enjoyed. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. I'm kind of sad that there's only like four new months or three. Um, I'll use the Zera Aura thingy if it when it comes out. There yeah, also um, comment down below either teams that you have for me or um, whatever team you want me to use next. You guys can see my team builder here. Comment down below what team you want me to use next. Pretty much just comment with the number, and the one that gets voted the most will be used in the next video. You can scroll. You can pretty much scroll down and pause it and see. I'm gonna go on. This is all I have for Ultra Sun Moon. But we're not gonna use Chance in the Boys unless everyone wants to see it, but I'm pretty sure no one wants to see that. But yeah, just comment the team you want me to use and I'll use it. 
and yeah peace out